So all of this flows from our desire for the evidence we gather in inspection to be connected. Um, and a deep dive is a way of connecting all the different kinds of evidence we gather. So let, let, me, let me walk you through it. Um, and um, if, if the explanation I give you is poor and faltering, we've actually published a document called Inspecting the Curriculum. That's on our website. I don't know if we can get a link up or whatever, yes, but that, 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 that sets all of that, that out. So we, so we start with a top level view of what's going on in the school. You know, leaders and managers tell us uh, how children and young people are doing here, about the progress they're making, about what they're learning. And then um, we'll agree with leaders and managers, and this is actually in the call prior to inspection, which areas of the curriculum we're going to dive into deeply. Um, and on a, on a section five inspection, that'll be four to six different areas. And on a section eight inspection, which is just confirming whether the, the, the school remains good or not, that'd be about three to five areas. But we'd agree a number of areas across the curriculum where we'll dive deeply. With me so far? Yep, that yep. makes sense. Okay. So far with okay. you. So, In fact, you answered one of my questions, which was going to be how many would people expect? So sure. That, that's great. Okay. Thank you. And, 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 and again, just to say that's all there in inspecting the curriculum. So um, again, we're, we're being transparent as we can be about it. So having chosen with the leaders of the school the areas that we're going to look at, the first thing to do is to speak to the curriculum leader. Um, now, that will look and feel a bit different in a smallish primary from how it will look and feel in a large secondary, but there's still somebody whose job it is to lead the curriculum in that area, and inspectors are really sensitive about the way to, to have that conversation. And the conversation, you know, as we've covered before, is, okay, well... What is it that children are learning in this subject? What do you expect them uh, to be learning? And what do you expect us to see when we go out and see it? And we establish that kind of joint view. And then we do three or four other activities jointly with the curriculum leader or the senior leader, whoever wants to come. Um, we go and we, we look at, we visit some lessons um, and we see what's taking place. And when we visit those lessons, we're not trying to judge the individual lessons. We're trying to link back what we're seeing to what we thought we were going to see and where that lesson fits in with the sequence that's being taught over time. Because actually we might see something that doesn't look challenging in and of itself, but it's actually reinforcing something that's been learned before. Or we might see a lesson where pupils are learning something new, but how does that fit into what we think we're going to go and see? So we don't judge the individual lesson, but we visit those lessons. Then we'll want to look at some people's work. And actually, we want to select some of some of the work from some of the pupils in the lessons that we've seen. So we can begin to see, so we've seen what's happening to those pupils today. Let's look at what's happening over time in their work. Then we'll want to meet pupils and speak to them. And again, some of those pupils will be the ones where we've seen the classes and seen the work. And that enables quite a rich conversation about what will, you know, tell us, you, you're doing Spanish this year. What, what, what are you learning in the subject and what, what, what's hard, etc. And then having done all that, we want to get together with the teachers whose lessons we've seen. Again, not to judge their lessons and not to not to critique them on that, but to sit back and say, OK, so you're teaching in this subject area. You're teaching this part of the curriculum. So what, what are the challenges? What's going on? And, and, and then you have those four different bits of evidence that are connected. And then you link that back to the conversation with the curriculum leader to say, all right, well, this is what we thought we'd see. This is what we've seen together. What do we make of that together? So that's a deep dive. You connect all of those activities together. But the crucial thing is you don't then say, right, I therefore have a judgment about history in this school or I have a judgment about art in this school. You're doing three, four, five, six of them. You draw those different deep dives together. And then you think, all right, well, what is this telling me about what's systemic in this school? Not what's typical. I saw the door open in three classes when I was there and that's typical. But what are the individual things that I'm seeing connected together, telling me about what's going on overall in the school? And then pro and that'll take you to the end of day one of the inspection, probably. And, and inspectors will sit and leaders will be there, teasing out what they think might be systemic and saying, well, we've got these hypotheses about what's going on. Let's use day two to test out whether that's really what's going on. And that's when we might go to subjects or areas that we haven't been to before, see year groups we haven't seen yet, all those sorts of questions. And what we're finding is that overnight to reflect is really helpful because often the next morning the head's saying to us, look, if you'd just seen this, you'd have, you'd, you'd have a different light on things. And we accommodate that in the inspection methodology. So that was a lot. But the deep dive is a part of a process where we get the top level view, we dive deeply and we bring it all together and then we can confirm or call into question what we've seen. And it's about connection. It's about connecting 
all the different things that we see around pupils and connecting it to what our curriculum leaders think is going on. And that's a really good way of getting a sense of, is the education strong in this school and do leaders understand where it is?